Howdy, howdy, everybody. Give some time for people to come on here where we can talk to you here. Been a while since I done one of these lives and thought tonight I'd get on and give talk to y'all for a little bit. So let y'all know what we got going on and teams for sale and all kinds of stuff. So somebody come on there and let me know you can hear me okay and everything's good. So All right, we got one person on. Make sure my volume is working and everybody can hear me and we'll get started here tonight. So, Hope everybody had a wonderful day. We sure did. We uh, got caught up on some loose ends today around the place and we've been working quite a bit, getting some things done and all that good stuff. So somebody come on and let me know you can hear me good. I don't, I'm going to make sure everything's working before I sit here and talk for a long time. So. Can anybody hear me? Hello, hello. Oh, good deal. Loud and clear. That's what I wanted to hear. Good deal. All right. Well, hello to all y'all. Hello, Ed Johnson. And here they all come in. Good deal. All right. So that's good. Um, we had a good day today. Like I said, we was just getting some things done, hauling some hay. And it's a rainy day here today in Kentucky. So we didn't do much with horses today. We did have the farrier come out and do a lot of work on some feet and things were getting done and um, I've been busy, real busy the last couple of weeks traveling and doing a bunch. I hope a bunch of y'all are listening to the podcast. If you've not yet, um, go on over there to where you listen to your podcast. You can listen to us on um, pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts, Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, everywhere, Amazon. The podcast is all over everywhere. It's called Harness Up with Hay Draft Horses and Mules. So, Get on there and check that out. Um, listen to us. I do post the video on Facebook, as my wife does on Facebook, and then I post the video on YouTube. All the podcasts are video and audio, so you can get on YouTube. If you go to our channel, go to the playlist, you'll see the podcast go, go, go all the time since then. So, um, yeah, it's been pretty busy. So, uh, But we're glad to be back on here and talking to you folks tonight, and uh, I'm going to announce a few things and Got a lot of good things coming up, so stay tuned for all that. But um, the podcast, yeah, you can listen to it anywhere. Y'all stream your podcast. Get on there. Check it out. And um, Yeah, I, I agree with that, Ed Johnson. I do. I sure need to do that. Yes, sir. I'll try to, I'll try to do one for you first next week. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right. But, yeah, I recorded a podcast um, last month with uh, Ken McNabb. Some of y'all may know Ken. Some of y'all may not, but Ken is a super, super nice guy. Just, I enjoyed it so much. Talk, sitting down and talking to him. And um, he's, we did a podcast together back in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, fresh off road to the horse. So we went to the road to the horse competition and I met Ken there and I just walked up to him and shook his hand and gave him my card and said, sir, do you care if I'm, I'd like to do a podcast with you. I'd like, for, I'd love for you to be on my podcast. He said, yes, sir. I'd love to do it. And uh, we set it up and done it right there in Lexington at the studio. And it was good. He talks about a lot of interesting things on there. So you can get on there and listen to his podcast. The one before that was a super good guy, Justin Hardy out of Louisville, Kentucky. Justin works for the Louisville Metro police department and, um, he does mounted patrol. Super nice guy. And, um, yeah, you're welcome to get on there and listen to him, too. He talks about a lot of how the Mounted Patrol works and how they do things up in Louisville, Kentucky, for their Mounted Patrol division. So, um, yeah, definitely, if you listen to podcasts, get on and listen to them. If you don't, you want to start, now's the time. It's easy to find. So um, I sure appreciate each and every one of you all getting on here tonight, talking to us and listening to us. Put your comments in the box and uh, say hello. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. We're here to help any way we can. Um, the episode three with Ken McNabb is not on the YouTube channel yet. I am working on it right now. It's loading. Um, internet's kind of slow, so um, we'll get it on there, though. We will. Hopefully it'll, hopefully, it'll go on tonight, but if not, hopefully sometime in the morning. So living in rural Kentucky, 
it's kind of internet's kind of slow so thankful for starlink though they got us hooked up out here and it's working it's really good so we sure are thankful for that but um i'm gonna see ed johnson's comment because i can't see it to listen can't wait to listen to one. Oh yeah yeah ed that'll be good yeah i'm looking forward to you listening to it as well because yeah he talks about a lot of good things on there and just hearing his life story and how he got started and all that was just very interesting for me i enjoyed it so much and um I hope y'all will as well. Got a lot of good ones coming up too, guys. I've um I flew out to um, Billings, Montana last Thursday, I think it was. I can't remember. I'm yeah, last Thursday. We flew out to Billings and um I drove down to Sheridan, Wyoming and did a podcast with a guy that I had a great time with, Mr. Dwayne Noel with Dry Creek Wrangler School. Y'all may have seen him on YouTube a lot. He's got a pot got a YouTube channel. Got a lot of followers, gets on and talks. His name is Dwayne Noel, N-O-E-L, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Check him out if you've not. Um, me and him had a good conversation. Crazy thing, um, he lives out in Wyoming, and um, I live here in Kentucky, but crazy thing is his mom was born here in Liberty, Kentucky, where we live, and he went to school here, and it was, it was really cool. It's a good show. And then uh, last Monday, I drove up to Townsend, Montana, Talk about a beautiful place. Oh, man, it's pretty. And I did a podcast with a guy by the name of Trinity Vandenacre. And Trinity has a channel on YouTube also called Life in the West. And um, you can check him out. But I recorded with him. Uh, that'll be coming out here pretty soon. Um, Going to be recording with um, a halter maker for the Kentucky Derby in Lexington, Kentucky next week. Uh going to go up there next wednesday and record with those guys i'm going to be got a lot of good podcasts coming up a lot so much and i'm and i'm real really really excited about that and i'm thank you all for listening to them thank you for supporting us um i'll be going back out west here in a couple of weeks three four weeks to record some more actually going to record with a pbr bull rider currently um Really doing really good on the PBR riding and super nice guy going to record with him and going to go down to Arizona and record some podcasts. It's going to be good. So we're going to try to, I've up the podcast now to every two weeks instead of once a month, just cause I've got a lot of people wanting to be on it. So um, to get them all in and to do them all, I'm going to have to release one every couple of weeks. So I sure appreciate, like I said, each and every one of y'all listening to it. It means the world to us. So, but, yeah, back to what I was talking about, we've been so busy. After the Billings Clinic, we got back from Billings, and uh, we went out there and done that clinic, and um, it was great. Had a great time and come back and just been selling teams left and right and been so busy shipping teams out and just go, go, go all the time. So um, let me see. I got a comment here. Mike, that is a great question. The reason I don't give a price whenever I show my teams is it can confuse a lot of people. Like if I say, you know, it just, it works out. I found out it works out better for me if somebody just call me and we'll talk and I'll tell them the price. That's the best way I found to do it. And that's the way I like doing it. And hopefully that'll work for you too, Mike. If you're interested in a team, buddy, just call me because um, I used to post prices and talk prices, but you know, people would call and say, hey, you say this team here was 20000 Well, no, that was a team of Belgians that was looked just like them a month ago, but now this team here is 25000 and it just caused a lot of confusion. So that's why I don't post any prices online. You won't find our prices online um, very seldom. Just call me. If you're in the market for a team, call me. I will tell you any price you want to hear. So hopefully that answer will work for you. If not, I'm sorry. Um, that's just the way we do business. So um, I'd love to have your business, Mike. If I can help you, you call me anytime, buddy. I sure appreciate you. Thank you for that question. When and where is that? David, the next clinic um, is going to be in Texas in September. Um, I got to get the date exactly on that. That'll be coming out here pretty soon. Um, it'll be at Prefort Ranch in um, uh, Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant, Texas. And um, that clinic will be in September. Uh, 
we'd love to do one before then, but with traveling so much with the podcast and selling teams and so much stuff we got going on at home, it's just hard to do anymore. So uh, the next one will be in Mount Pleasant, Texas in September. So, and uh, thank you, Mike. Yes, sir. Thank you. Call me sometime, buddy. I'd love to talk to you and discuss teams with you. And if you ain't in the market to buy one now, she call me anyway. I'd like to talk to you. So thank you, sir. And God bless you. All right. Yes, sir, David. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you want to come to that clinic, um, we're already taking spots now. So you call me and we'll get you set up, man. Love to meet you and shake your hand and chat with you. Call me sometime. That'd be good. You're more than welcome to. So thank you all very much for that. Those questions. Keep them coming. I like the questions, the questions and answers. That that really keeps the flow going and gives me something to talk about. So um, other things coming up. Um, in Billings, Montana, at the clinic, we released our T-shirts. A lot of y'all got them. Um, we give away T-shirts there to the participants, and it was good. We do have T-shirts, guys, and here's what the ones look like we have right here. White T-shirts. I'm trying to get it here where you all can see it really good, but got our logo on them. They're a real soft cotton T-shirt. They're made by they're a canvas T-shirt. They're nice. They're soft. They're really good quality shirts. If you want a T-shirt, uh, message me on here, uh, well, leave a comment, or you can call me, text me, 606-303-5669. Um, get a hold of us anyway. Uh, we'd love to get you all T-shirts. we we'll sell them um, pretty much for what they cost and ship them to you. So if you're interested in a T-shirt, get a hold of them. We have hoodies. Uh, we got black hoodies, white hoodies, gray hoodies. We got black T-shirts, white T-shirts with the logo on them. Uh, we got hats. We got flat bills. We got curve bills. We got um. Anything y'all want, shirts, hats, whatever. Um, if you're interested in some merchandise, let me know. We'd love to help you out and get you some, and we'll help you all we can. So, Also, um, hold on. I'm going to see what David said. Lots of draft teams, but do you ever train and sell teams? Yeah, David, we do. We've sold some ride and, ride and drive teams uh, in the past, and this year we've sold a couple ride and drive teams. Um Mainly, our focus is the driving part. We love selling driving horses. Um, some teams we will ride, but we're more focused on the driving end. But um, I'd love to eventually start riding more um, teams and selling more. But to be honest with you right now, we can't get them out quick enough to just sell the driving. Um, and these teams sell quick, and they're, they're hot sellers, and we just got to keep focusing on getting riding driving teams for people that need them and uh it's been a really really busy year we've sold i guess in the neighborhood of 30 teams so far this year maybe a little more i've not counted in a while but um got some folks coming from oklahoma in the morning to pick up a team of two-year-old perchins i sold them um got a guy coming Monday from massachusetts to pick up a team of belgians we sold him um it's busy all the time so but yes david i'd love to do that more um I sure would. I I love selling ride and drive teams, teams that do it all. Drive single, double, ride, drive, everything. So that's the goal, but not all the time can we do it. But I thank you for your question. I sure appreciate you, sir. Where are you from, David? I don't, I don't know if I've seen you on here much. I'd like to know where you're from. And Mike, where are you from? Ed Johnson, I know where you're from, buddy. You're my number one. You're, you're our number one fan. We sure appreciate you, sir. And anybody else um, that's on here? Put in where everybody's from. We sure appreciate it. All right. You're from up in Michigan. Good deal. All right. We got a lot of Michigan friends. We sure do. Yep. We sell some teams up in Michigan too. So thank you, David, for coming on. I sure appreciate you. And if you're in the market for a team, call us. If you want to come down and visit and drive horses, that sounds good too. Um, coming up um, here real soon. Actually, we're going to go ahead and start it right now on Facebook. Um, over on the Facebook page. Go to our Facebook and check it out. Like our Facebook, follow our Facebook. Um, my wife, she does all the Facebook stuff. She's the Facebook woman for that, the Instagram, all that. All I do is the YouTube and the website So, and the phone. If you call me, you know, you talk to me. But she takes care of all the social media stuff. And there's a post on there about harnesses. 
and we're going to give away $500 off a new set of harness from us. So get on there and like and comment and share that post and you'll be entered into the drawing and we'll draw here. When are we drawing? When we hit 17, we're going to draw when we hit 17,000 followers, which probably won't be very long. That, that Facebook page is growing really fast. So get on there and check that out. And if you want to enter for the contest, like, comment, share that. Um, everything's going good with harness sales. Got a lot of harness available. We're selling harness every day. Um, also have a lot of wagon gears now. Um, got hooked up with Weaver Wagon Works, and they're supplying our gears. A lot of y'all always ask about that little wagon gear we use and that fiberglass wagon, the gray wagon in the videos. Well, I have those gears now here for sale. I've got that size. I've got the larger gear. It's called the 4700. You can put up to a 16-foot bed on it. Um, we got bed, We got gears with leaf springs, torsion axles. Um, they got the pole covers that cover the pole to keep your horses from knocking their legs on the pole, a real nice padded cover. A spring assist tongues, raised hitches with the resitch where you can pull the slide the pole out and put in the shafts, um, hook right to the back of your truck, pull behind your truck, pull behind your trailer. Got lots of good wagon gears. We're going to start building custom beds on them ourselves, selling them to you guys. Uh, we shipped a wagon out to Las Vegas. Um, the a lady just recently bought a team from me out there, and we shipped her wagon out to Vegas. Um, she should get it next week. Shout out to you at the Alamo Club and Liquor Outlet in Nevada out close to Vegas. You know who you are. Thank you so much. And uh, God bless you and look forward to meeting you some someday soon. So, and uh, we recently had a wagon built a really nice bed on it for a camp that's starting up in East Troy, Wisconsin, a boys and girls camp. And we're going to be taking that wagon up to them and their team here real soon. And um, wagon sales are going good. We got any kind of wagon you all want. We can custom build any wagon bed you want. You name your specs, you name how you want it, and we'll build it. So, And if you just want a gear, um, like a guy in Arkansas, Mr. Eddie, hello to you, Eddie. You and your wife, hope everything's doing good for you all down in Arkansas. And um, But he just wanted the gear. He wanted to build his own bed, so we shipped it to him. Um, I can ship it on a freight truck really easy on a semi and get it to you quick, and it's really reasonable. So if you want to build your own bed on your own gear we can handle it we can just ship you the gear um harnesses we still we got custom harness we got stuff we keep in stock in and a harness we can sell you any harness you need so if you need harness call us you need wagons call us um i'm starting a new line of carts and all kinds of stuff you'll be seeing all this coming out on the website very very soon um, i just took a dealership with a pioneer well pioneer went out of business in january of 2022 but um a company in Illinois bought the Pioneer four cart pattern and they're making them. And I've got like 20 of those carts coming next Tuesday Four carts. I've got them coming with torsion axles. Um, I've got them coming just regular hydraulic brakes, band brakes. Um, I've got bench seats coming, implement seats, fenders, cup holders, the whole nine yards. We're going to have a lot of Pioneer four carts here for sale uh, next Tuesday. I'll get pictures of those on the website for you guys and all the gears and all the wagons and all the options so y'all can check it out. So stay tuned for all that. That's coming here really, really soon. And uh, recently we got our new wash bay done at the barn. I'm so excited about it. Hot water heater, Insta hot water heater, and a, a boom that comes out, spray the horses with. It's going to be super nice. So we've needed that for a long, long time. So I um, got that done. Um, Team-wise, I want to talk horses here a little bit and mules. Um, just put a team of mules on last night, uh, Dolly and June. Guys, solid, honest, broke, nice team of Molly mules. Get on the YouTube channel. Check out their video. I think you all will really like them. Um, had a lot of people call on them, so I'd say they'll sell pretty quick. But if you're interested in team of mules, we got them on there. Check them out. Uh, Belgian teams, Thunder and Lightning, they're still online. Um, I had them held for somebody, but it didn't work out on their end, so... We had to put them back up for sale. So they are available again now. Uh, Thunder and Lightning, a 17 two-hand Belgian team, tanks, 2,200 pounders, 28-inch collars, broke, broke. Check out their video. We've had them all in town, everything. Check them out. Y'all will like them. Um, Doc and Wyatt, three-year-old Belgian team, super nice young team, 16 two, 
long manes, beautiful long tails, solid, solid, honest young team of horses. Check their video out. Those are the three teams online that's still available. Um, the rest of them sold. So everything else online is sold. There's nothing else on there. You can go back and watch the old videos if you want to check them out. But everything, they're sold already. So I've got a lot of new teams. I've got to get busy and get online. Um, I've got a black team of something we've not had before. A team of Shire Crosses. Guys, this team is cool. Black, beautiful blazes, long feathering. Nice, nice team. We drove them today again. They're super good. Uh, check those out. They'll be coming on first part of next week. Got some good perching teams coming up. Lots of black perching guildings, different Belgian teams, crossbred teams. We got a lot of teams coming up in the next four to six weeks. And we'll probably be putting back to three to four teams on a week starting next week and pushing through the month of May before I head back out west in June to go do some more podcasts and things like that. So um, stay tuned. We got a lot of teams coming up online here in the next four to six weeks. So be looking out for them. You'll see them soon. So any more questions anybody's got, anything we can do for anybody, feel free to put it in the comments. We're here to help. So um, I'll be on here a little bit longer to answer any questions if anybody's got any. If you don't, I'm going to sign off here in just a little bit. Oh, I want to mention these. Uh, my wife started making these. She came up with the idea to make these. They're horse bonnets. They go on your horse's head kind of like so with their ears up. And they keep the flies and gnats out of their ears while you're riding them. She did a super good job. She sews them together. This one's made like an American flag. This one's draft cross size. And she's made some all different colors. This one here is a custom one she made for somebody for a mule. And uh, look at them big, big mule ears. That's a nice one. So um, she's making these. And you can message her on the Facebook. She'll tell you how much they cost. She just enjoys doing it. She ain't she's making them for little or nothing. But if... Anybody wants some of them, get on there and message her. They're super nice and they're neat. and She likes making them, so uh, throw that out there if anybody's interested. Um, any more questions before we sign off here and get ready to go to bed? All right. Oh, I forgot something. I didn't need to mention this. Um, October 24th, 25th, and 26th, guys, um, we're going to have a real special event here at our place. Um, a flyer will be coming out on here real soon. Um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll have a flyer out on it. We're going to have a customer appreciation three-day event here at the farm. We're going to have camping spots here. You bring your horse trailer, your living quarters, whatever. Bring your team, bring your wagons. We're going to ride. We're going to have long rides, and we're going to cook two, a couple hogs, and we're going to have smoked brisket. We're going to feed everybody, and we're just going to have a big get-together, and it's going to be a good, good time. I can guarantee you that. We're going to have teams here for sale. Hopefully have 10 or 12 teams on the ground for sale in three days. Come drive them. Try them out for three days. We're going to give super deals on them for our customers. And it's for our customers that we've sold teams to, but it's also for new customers wanting to buy teams or wanting to get to know us, or it's for somebody that just wants to come. So everybody's welcome. It's going to be a big event. Um, we're going to have a blast. We're going to be doing giveaways at that event. We're going to give away harness. We're going to give away. You can't ever tell what's going to happen. So, and it's going to be a fun time. And we're going to do demonstrations, um, plowing demonstrations, um, hay cutting demonstrations, harness demonstrations, training demonstrations we're going to have a big big three days going to be a lot of fun free event everybody's welcome uh keep that in mind october 24th 25th 26th i'm pretty sure the dates are um don't hold me to it i may be off a day or two on the dates but um the flyer will be coming out i'll have the flyer all over youtube i'll have it all over our social media we're going to do videos leading up to it so stay tuned for that it's going to be a fun time and uh We've got Airbnbs right here around the place uh, available for rent. Um, probably be able to be booking them pretty quick because they're going to fill up. There's four or five here in the area. Uh, there's motels in town. There's motels in Russell Springs, Somerset. So, But also bring your trailer. Bring your living quarter horse trailers. You can sleep in them. Bring your generators. We will have limited plug-ins, but um, not a whole lot. But um, 
we're not a campground, but we're a horse farm. But uh, we'll try to accommodate you. I know we got people coming already. We got people flying in from Wyoming coming. There's people coming from Canada, Montana, Arkansas, Texas. It's going to be a great time. Be a great time to meet a bunch of fellow horse drivers and have a big wagon ride and just congregate and fellowship with each other. It's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that. That'll be in the last week of October. So we're hoping everybody can come. Um, meet a lot of faces I've not met before, friends that's followed us on YouTube. All you YouTube subscribers, you're welcome. All my faithful followers, commenters, hey, get ready. It's going to be a blast. So we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to having all y'all come out and uh, get to know us, spend some time with us, shake our hands and see our horses hands on and just come out and drive horses and have a great time. So um, all right, Mike, I see that. You're from you're from Ohio. Good deal. I was just up there uh, last night, not before last, picked up a bunch of wagon gears and harness. So um, thank you, Mike, for watching. God bless you and David and um, Ed and whoever else. I can't see all the comments, but um, I thank each and every one of y'all for watching and uh, for commenting. Anybody else on got anything to say before we take this thing to a close? So. I don't see anything else coming in. So speak now forever. Hold your peace. I'm <laughs> getting ready to shut her down. So there you are. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Good night to you too, buddy. Thank you, Ed. I appreciate you, man. Hopefully you're going to come to that hog gross and shindig, Ed. You and Mike both. Y'all are welcome to come, man. Ed, you need to come down here. You're our number one fan. You need to come down and eat some pig with us and take a wagon ride. and Come down and hang out in Kentucky for a few days. So, hey, that's great, man. I'd love to have you here. That'd be wonderful. And everybody, I'd love to have everybody here. Everybody's welcome. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to show you some good Kentucky hospitality and show you all a good time. So we're looking super forward to it. So anybody else got anything to say? And, hey, watch this video after it ends. It'll post. So <coughs> watch it. If you have any questions. You can put stuff in the comments after the live ends when I go not live. So just look forward to that. So anybody's welcome to comment and share and talk to us. Go listen to the podcast, though. That podcast with Ken is good, um, if I have to say so myself. It's not good because of me, but he done his, he's so good. He um, got some great stories and a world, a head full of knowledge. He's um, been around a lot. Uh, you know, he had his training program on RFD TV and still does for 20 years. He's been in many different uh, TV shows and just a world, a uh, huge head full of knowledge on training horses in the industry. And um, it's really good. So check it out. Like I said, the video will be on YouTube, hopefully late tonight or early in the morning. So check it out too. Check out the website, www.drafthorsesandmulesforsale.com. Uh, my number is 606-303-5669. Check out the Facebook, the Instagram, all that stuff. If you need anything, guys, call me. I'm here to help you. I'll answer any questions you all have. We're here to take care of everybody any way we can. So just give us a call. But good night. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.